Hello, gang. We're, we're coming down to it here. 197, Mr. Louis Dupre, seventh year senior here. Dr. Dupre, actually. For Binghamton at 197, he's, he's going to be taking on Daniel Williams. He's 12 and 10 on the season. So a good record there. And Daniel knows what his job is. He's wrestling a top 10 guy who's been there, done that. He's done so much in this wrestling world and is so powerful. And so these are interesting matches because Louis knows he needs bonus points. Daniel knows, and let's just be honest. Yeah, you can fake it and be like, yeah, I just want to win this match. He knows he's not going to win this match unless something crazy happens. But he, his job is to keep it minimal when it comes to the scoring. So Louis got the leg really high. That's right where you want it. But Daniel doing a good job of creating distance. As you as you hear Colot, Coach Colot say, create distance. And I do have to say, Coach Colot is probably the best technician of all D1 wrestling coaches in the country. And there's some pretty big names out there, obviously. You got Tom Brands, you got John Smith, Cale Sanderson, but technically, Colot's the best. Great takedown by Louis. He's going to go neutral right away. He knows his job. He's got a score bonus here with the team score 17 10. He's thinking at least a major. He's probably thinking tech fall. One thirty left in the first. You can tell that Daniel is doing a great job, but he's got that defensive mode going on. Good crack down position. I like where he's at here. He's got that leg up on his head. So now he just wants to trip. He kind of flirted with the left foot trip. That he, That's not where he's going to get it, most likely. I could be wrong. Oh, maybe. But he wants to create space. Yes, that's what you do. You underhook the knee. And that makes everything closer. There's a very clean three-point takedown. But you know what? Daniel Williams made him work for that, which, you know, every second on that, on that, uh, that board counts. So Louis has got 16 on the ride now, 17 actually, and 45 seconds left in the first. So you have to make a decision here. Do you, do you want to look for back points? Do you want to cut the guy? I mean, Louis's been doing this forever, so he knows what he's doing. He doesn't need me to tell him. So the Navy staff is just excellent, and they know that he has a back hook to a leg Turk, which Louis is very good at. It looked like he was flirting with throwing the leg in right there. So at this point, you want to finish on top in the period. That will garner you over a minute of riding time. Louis heavy on top. He's really worked on this feature throughout his almost decade of college wrestling. Good arm chop there. And the period's going to come to a close. Six to one advantage for Dupre. 102 on the ride. Louis gets to go down here. Lots of guys are going with the uh, deep waist ride to start the position, and I guess if the ref doesn't call it, then go ahead, do what you gotta do, man. Great escape. Textbook. Good hand control. He wants to clear hands. Again, I'm impressed with Daniel. Like, he, he's serviceable here in this position. Great leg attack and finish by Louis Dupre. He's got the legs crossed up. So now you want to go... You want to go over top and underneath that far shoulder. And we've talked about this. You want to scoop that far shoulder. Scoop the far shoulder. 
and he'll go over for four, if not maybe even get the fall. Kyle saying turn his head, he's absolutely correct. And, and, and Coach Kolot's coaching perfectly too. He's saying crawl forward. That releases pressure on your knee to crawl forward. So both coaching staffs are absolutely correct. This is where Louis wants to take that far foot out, but he's got to come across the throw. Okay. I agree with that call. A little bit potentially dangerous there. That did add to Louis' riding time. It's 10 to 1 now. He's probably going to elect to go neutral which he will, says neutral. Well, he's a man of few words. All action. 141 on the ride, good. Good hard hand tie there by Williams. Louis, beautiful transition. And he's in a leg Turk again. He's in a leg Turk again. Potentially dangerous again with the with the knee position. I, I get it. We don't want to see these uh, wrestlers get hurt. You're seeing the Navy guys get really close to the bench now. They know this duel is going to come down to the last match. Good pressure by Dupre on top. There could be a stall call on bottom, but he's still trying to build his base. So 13 to two, the riding time will be a factor. It's essentially 14 to two. And Louis is gonna go neutral right away. So 13 to three, one takedown's not gonna do it. As somebody in the crowd said, two takedowns will do it. And that's correct. But he might catch a leg Turk on the way down as you've seen happen a couple times already. Good leg attack again, strong leg attack. I like how he's shaking that over three takedowns, 16 to three. Louis goes right after it. He knows his job. He wants to get that tech fall. That would bring the team score 17 to 15. On paper, Navy was definitely favored in this duel, but Binghamton battling hard as they always do. They have a great team. There you go. But credit to Williams. Like, he didn't just roll over there. Like, he fought some really hard positions. Louis is not an easy guy to wrestle. So credit to him. Louis, credit. Credit to him. He knows what to do. There's that Sobacher smile. Going to rev the team up here as it comes down to the final duel. 